In this video, we are going to learn how to solve quadratic equation easily with Casio calculator. Now, after going through this video, you will be able to solve quadratic equation with Casio FS 901 ES Plus calculator easily, especially for multiple choice questions. So, stay with me to the end of this video. Okay, let's begin. Let's look at the example I have here and solve it together. Example here says if alpha and beta be the roots of the quadratic equation 3x squared minus x minus y equals 0. Find a new quadratic equation whose roots are alpha square and beta square. And these are our options. Though alpha and beta are an advanced aspect of quadratic equation, but I will make it very easy in this video using Casio calculator to solve it. So pay attention very well in order to understand everything. I'm going to explain at this point. Okay, to begin with, you have to find the roots of the equation 3x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0. Before you find the roots of the equation, you need to bring out the parameters of the equation as I have done here. So here, you have A, B, and C respectively. And this A, B, and C are representing the first term, second term, and the constant in the equation, respectively. So, after doing that, you then find the coefficient of the quadratic equation. So, the coefficient of the first term here, 3x squared, which is 3. That's why you have a equals 3 here. Yeah? For those of all that might not know what coefficient is in mass, in brief moment, coefficient in mass refers to a number or a value behind an unknown or a variable. So that's what coefficient refers to. Briefly, in mathematics, is a number behind a variable or an unknown, basically. So... Having known that the coefficient of minus s here is minus 1 and the constant which is minus 1 as you can see here c equals minus 1 so having done this the next thing we do now will be to bring the Casio calculator and find the roots of the equation so let's bring the Casio calculator now okay we have to put the calculator in, in equation mode and to do that, you press mode button and go for category 5, which stands for equation, you press 5. So once you press 5, you check for quadratic equation here. So we have 3 to be it, so you press 3. So once you do it, you begin to impute the values for A, B, and C respectively in the calculator. So here we have our A to be 3. Press equal to we have a b to be minus one. Press equal to and you have a c to be minus one. You press equal then let's press equal to now begin to find our roots s1 and s2. So s1 here is this value is a fraction. Let's change it into a decimal number. You press sd. So you have 0 0.7 C7. So that's why you you can see 0 0.7 C7 here as S1. Let's press the quote again for our second root S2. So in the fashion, you change it to a decimal number, you press SD. So we have minus 0 0.434 as you can see here. So after this step, Note that S1 represents alpha in this question and S2 represents beta respectively. So what we are going to do next now will be to store alpha and beta in the calculator respectively because we are asked to find the new quadratic equation whose rules are alpha square and beta square. So, next thing to do now will be to store alpha 
and beta respectively in the calculator form. That point, so we then find alpha square and beta square. So let's do it now. So we have to clear the calculator to remove it from equation mode. To do that, you press shift button 9 and follow the instruction. You want to clear or you press theory, press record to and equal to. So we have cleared the calculator. So right now, our alpha, which is the same thing as S1, is 0 0.767. Seven six seven. So to store this number, you press Shift. This arrow button stands for store. Then look at alpha here. This button. So once you do it, it will indicate here that this value has been stored as alpha in the calculator. So you wipe it and store beta. So a better idea, which is the same thing as S two, we have minus zero point four three. Oh, so to store a press shift store look at our beta here so it is on this button so once you do it it will indicate here that this value has been stored at beta in the calculator so you wipe it so right now let's get our alpha square to get your alpha square you simply press alpha to bring that alpha in the calculator you press this alpha button first then press a which is sent as alpha in the calculator so once you do it to come out and you press square and press record to see the value of alpha square 0 0.588 as you can see here so let's find beta square we press alpha b and square special code two. so we have 0 0.188 0 0.188 so after this step we are almost done next thing now you will do will be to find the quadratic equation whose rules we give you these values whose s1 and s2 will give you these values so let's do it now it's very very simple so you write this and go back to equation mode category 5 option theory so let's begin with option a our idea is 9 does the coefficient of 9 s square here is 9 which is representing a so you press equal to and uh, the coefficient of minus 7 s here which is representing b is minus 7 very very simple and lastly the constant here is plus 1 which is we have 1 press equal to so let's begin to press equal to now to get our s1 and s2 respectively to see if they will give us these values so let's begin so we have s1 to be this value is in fashion let's change it into a decimal number you press sd 0.5 nine. so S1 here is correct 0.58. So let's check S2 and see what it will give us. If we press record again, let's change it into a decimal number 0.188. And that's what we have there 0.188. So this option A is correct. No need finding the rules of option b c and d since option a has given us these same values as the rules of the quadratic equation so guys this is basically how you can solve quadratic equation with calcium calculator so we are at the end of this class so once you are done you clear the calculator 
Click la ip ship 9 and clear the calculator. So that's it. So if you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel for more of our videos. Also, like, share, and comment on this video to tell me how you feel regarding what you have learned in this class. If you seem to have any specific question to ask, feel free to leave your question in the comment section below and I will ensure to give you a response. Also, check out for my video on how to solve some product or product equation. I did a nice explanation at it. Check the description of this video, video below. You see the link to that video on how to solve some product or product equation. You learn a lot. So, that's it for this class, guys. Thanks for watching this video.